to the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Closer, where are you? What do you mean you're not gonna be here today? Who am I supposed to anger with if you're not here? Oh my gosh, Bose! Hey, you! Me? Yes, what? you. You're anchoring today. Okay. Gosh, Bose. Come on, let's go, because GTV News starts right now. Welcome back to Neva now that I find the charming young man to anger with here for Thursday, March 21st, 2013. Have you ever played the giant version of Jenga? Well, now's your chance. Skills USA and Engineering Club will be hosting giant Jenga competition in the Commons Thursday after school. It's $5 per person and you can have a team of three. First prize is your own Jenga set valued at $135. If you're having some trouble with math and would like to catch up before spring break, come to the Math Tutor Lab today from 2.55 to 3.55 p.m. in room EE-184. It will be open Monday through Thursday every week. From dresses and tuxes to heels and corsages, prom is quickly approaching, and GTV reporter Rachel Bry is in the studio with members of the Student Council who are working to make the prom night perfect. Thanks guys. I'm here with Hallie McQueenie and Sydney Nelson from Student Council. Hallie, can you tell me what this year's prom theme is? Um, this year's prom theme is It's Time by Imagine Dragons. I'm glad we chose that song because I'm sure everyone loves that song. I know I do. Um, and how did you guys go about um, picking this song? Well, we came up with a list of five songs and then we had the seniors vote on their school email uh, for the song and they chose Imagine Dragons. And Hallie, how do you guys plan on pursuing this theme at prom? Um, if anyone's seen the posters up around school, the logo and the ticket design are based off of the theme. And then on the actual night of prom, either the first dance or the last dance will probably be its time. So make sure you're looking for those posters, and I'm sure Student Council will do a great job with the theme at prom. Now back to the desk. Thank you, Rachel. If your prom date's from another school, be sure to get your guest pass filled out and turned in. They're available in the Dean's office and are due back by April 8th. Leo's Club and the Lost Boys organization are teaming up for a fundraiser to benefit eye health for the people of the South Sudan. GTV reporter Rachel Bryza is in studio with one of the Lost Boys and the leader of the organization. Rachel? Thank you guys. I'm here with Wendy Dwyer and Archangelo from the Lost Boys Rebuilding South Sudan organization. Now Wendy, can you tell me what you do in this organization? Um, we educate and train teachers and we assign teachers to well sites and marketplaces in order to educate women and girls that aren't able to attend school because they're needed to carry water and their life is so laborious. So when they come to the wells they learn how to read and write. Uh, and what's the experience like from living here and then seeing what it's like there? Well, um, if you can imagine, it's like going back almost 2,000 years. If you imagine, um, even, you know, as they say at the time of, uh, like at AD, 100 AD, there were more systems set up in areas um, like uh, Bethlehem than there are today in South Sudan. So the legal systems are emerging. Most people um, rely on wells. There's very little electricity. Most people's homes are made out of mud and straw. So it's like going back in time, actually. And you uh, talked about go uh, pairing up with the Lions Club earlier. What are you doing with them? Um, on this particular trip, we helped South Sudan receive a charter from Lions Club International so that we can send eye teams to do eye surgery. There's a lot of curable blindness in South Sudan, and we would like to send eye teams to cure um, climatic cataract and river blindness. And so we're lining up eye teams that will be traveling there this year to help cure blindness in South Sudan. Sounds like an amazing organization to be a part of. Archangelo, you're a part of it. What's it like working with Mrs. Dwyer? Uh, Mr. Dwyer has been a long time uh, friend since I came to the United States uh, seven years ago. And I was very pleased for her to join us in our organization. And we are really welcoming their uh, help that she has put to our organization. 
especially her and her family, they have been cooperating with us in this organization. And we are really very pleased for her coming down there to see what is going on. As she's here, she, uh, she's here to tell what she has seen, but not what she has heard. So we're pleased for her and we welcome her back and she come back peaceful. All right, well, thank you guys, and I wish you luck with what else you do. Thank you very much for having us. Thank you, Rachel. Jack Hausengay is one of the most photogenic guys in GTV, so it is fitting that he has a story today about our own Geneva High School Photo Club. It's a lot of fun, and you can use things that you'll never be able to use ever again. It's just, like, really, like, unique because you get to use a dark room and, like, programs on the computer, so it's really different. There are lots of elective classes here at Geneva High School, but photo class is unlike any other. Usually we have our projects assigned to us and we'll take our photos and depending on what class you're in, you'll develop the film or work on it in class and kind of like bounce ideas off your other classmates. Our teacher just like gives us a prompt to do and just kind of like gives us a lot of room and freedom so there's like a lot of space and we just kind of get our prompt and go. But despite the freedom they are given, it takes a long time to get from film to paper. Developing the film and like uh, like putting the film like on the photos is actually like really hard and like it takes a while to get used to. It takes a long time to edit pictures. But despite the troubles they may face, at the end of the day, photography class is all worth it. It's a really great class to like come and experiment and do whatever you want. I would just like recommend anybody to take it. Like it's pretty fun class. Like you just learn a lot of new skills and that sort of thing. For GTV News, I'm Jack Housengay. National Art Honor Society meets today after school from 3 to 4 p.m. Today, the basketball craze is finally beginning. Myself, along with the help of Jack Housingay, went out to the halls of Geneva to see how people are reacting to March Madness. Harper with seven. Harper stops a three from dead on. Made it! Harper made it! 4.2! Morehead leads! She's trying to step through. Nothing there. Puts up a shot. It's good! It's good with four tenths of a second to go! It's that time of year again when buzzer beaters, upsets, and disagreements invade the halls here at GHS. It's time for some March Madness. I think March Madness is a great time of year. It's a time when family and friends can get together, watch some good quality basketball, and it's always exciting to see who's going to come out and uh, win the tournament. It's something you can look forward to once every year. Mm -hmm. You know, it's something kind of like the Super Bowl or the World Series. It just comes around once a year, and you have to you know, celebrate it when, it when it does. Even if you don't like basketball, people love to come out and watch all the games and see what's going to happen next. There's energy in the air everywhere, even if you don't like the sports yourself. And the most anticipated part is the expectation of the unexpected. I like the upsets. It's always cool to see the underdog win. You never know what's going to happen, and I think that's the most exciting part about it. It's great to see some little school that you've never really heard of take down some of the big dogs. The unexpected is what um, gets everybody. So at the end of the day, no matter who you pick. The Hurricanes taking on the ship this year. No, nope. better believe it. Ole Miss, let's go with Ole Miss. Kansas, for sure. Georgetown, all the way, hashtag Hoya Nation. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy the madness. For GTV News, I'm Joni Educate. Even though spring sports have been kept inside due to their frigid weather, they're still hard at work. GTV reporter Kat Pernanko got the story on the, ba the baseball team here at Geneva who is diligently preparing for their season. March 20th marked the first official day of spring here at Geneva. And with the warm weather around the corner, the baseball team is more than excited to start the season. It's going to be a good season. We have a lot of, uh, a lot of talent and uh, it'll, it'll, be, it'll be fun. It's going to be a great year. we got a great team and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. And although the weather has been harsh, the Vikings won't let that dampen their spirit. We haven't been outside yet, which is, which is pretty big. Seeing fly balls outside and ground balls on the dirt, it's, it's different than the gym. It's really hard staying inside the whole time and trying to get ready for a game that we have. Uh, Friday and having to be inside the whole time. And there's no better way to start off the season than with some team bonding. Hey, we're leaving this Friday to go to Southern Illinois and play a couple games, so hopefully that'll get us kind of going here. Gives the team a chance to play teams that we wouldn't be able to, so it, it's a good time. We stay in a hotel with the team for the night, and uh, it really helps with the team bonding. It's just a great way to kick off our season. For GTV News, I'm Kat Pernenko. You know, TK, I'm really surprised at how well you've done considering I just found you, you know, walking out of a bathroom and here you are. Yeah, it's a Cinderella story, from the streets of Geneva's halls to anchoring desk at GTV. You know, I have to say, uh, congratulations on that. It's the true, the true feat for you to be able to do that. I'm very proud. Well, that's all we have for you today, Geneva. I'm Joni Edgecake. And I'm TK Hood. <laughs>